inertia. Look at this demonstration. There is a glass tumbler placed on a table over which is placed a cardboard. Now place a coin on the cardboard. The tumbler, the cardboard, and the coin are all at rest. Now flick the cardboard as shown here. What do you observe? You will notice that the coin falls vertically downwards. Observe that the coin does not move with the cardboard. However, the coin falls downwards due to the force of gravity. The coin does not move with the cardboard because of the property of matter called inertia. Inertia is the inability of a body to change by itself either the state of rest or of uniform motion along a straight line unless an external force is applied on it. Now let us understand inertia with the help of another example. Here you can see the passengers in the bus leaning backward when the bus suddenly starts moving. Why does this happen? This is because the upper part of the body of the passengers continues to be at rest due to inertia, while the lower part starts moving along with the bus. Similarly, when a moving bus stops suddenly, the passengers fall forward. This is because the upper part of the body of the passengers continues to move while the lower part of the body comes to rest along with the bus.